Hello, I welcome you all to this another interesting screencast and the problem reads uh, determine the shear and moment is a function of x where x is in the interval 0 to 3 and x is in the interval 3 to 6 and then draw the shear and the moment diagrams. This problem is coming from the engineering mechanics uh, statics uh, textbook 13th edition by R.C. Hibela. We have a simply supported uh, beam and uh, a couple moment applied at C. So first and foremost, let's draw the free body diagram at A where we have the hinge. We're going to have AY and AX. And at B, we are going to have BY. All right, let's draw the, I mean, let's, uh, apply the equations of equilibrium so we'll have summation of moments about point a equal to zero and clockwise being our reference okay so what do we what do we have we have a minus 30 which is clockwise so therefore negative then plus by times the lever arm which is equal to six equal to zero Therefore, our by is just going to be equal to 30 divided by 6, which just gives us 5 kilo newtons. Let's find what ay is. So, we'll say summation of forces in the y equal to 0 going up, being our reference. We have ay plus by. Okay equal to zero we've already calculated what by is okay so therefore our ay is just going to be equal to a minus five kilo newtons then finally summation of forces in the y direction equal to zero what do we have? We just have AX, which is equal to 0 kilo newtons. Right. So we say dy is 5 kilo newtons. And then AY, we just have an opposite sign. Instead of going up, it will be going down. And this magnitude is equal to also 5 kilo newtons ax is equal to a zero kilonewtons all right so in this particular case we are going to make a section but mind you we are dealing with two intervals right so we we'll need to make a section here and also later on come and make a section in the second interval so let's call this interval where we are making section is our one so let me write down here let me write down here so this interval we are dealing with is interval x from zero where x is equal to zero to just the left of c okay c is the first interval all right so there we go we have a section of the beam Let's add all the other things that needs to be added. We have the load of 5 kilonewtons. This part is 1. We are going to have shear V1, M1. And then the length of this is just X moving from this side like so. Quickly, let's apply the equations of equilibrium. Summation of moments about point 0.1 equal to 0. Mm -hmm. What we have? Uh, what we have? Let me check if we are in the same line. Okay. So we are going to have uh, 5 times x plus m1 equal to 0. Therefore, m1, which is a function of x, is just going to be equal to 
uh, minus 5x. Then we have summation of forces in the y equal to 0 going up in our reference. What do we have? We have um, minus 5 minus v1 equal to 0. Therefore, v1, which is a function of x, is just going to be equal to minus 5. So this is for interval 1. Let's go to interval 2. Interval 2, we are saying x is from 3, that is to the right of c, to 6, as 6 included. Okay. So all these are, this is all in meters. Okay, this interval. Great. So make a section again. We're going to make a section here. Let's call this section where we're doing it H2. All right. Okay. So again, uh, we can pick whichever part that we want to pick, whichever will give us an easier answer, but Sure, in this problem, they want us to start from A going towards B. But you are still free to use, you can still move from B going towards A. But let's use the longer part. Okay, so we are going to have a longer part like so. Uh, what do we have? So we have here the 5 kilonewtons. And then we have a couple there of 30 kilonewtons meter. And then uh, let's call this point two. So we we'll have shear, I'm calling B2. And then moment of M2. And then we have this length from here to there. This is known. It is three. And then let's start from the very end here and move there like so and call this our x, right? We call this our x. And then if that is the case, okay. All right. So there we go. So let's apply the equations of equilibrium, summation of moments about 0 0.2 equal to 0 what do we have uh, we have uh, 5 times x okay mm -hmm. what else and then we have a minus 30 mm -hmm. what else and then we have plus m2 equal to 0. Great. So, there we go. Therefore, making m2 subject of formula, our m2, which will be the function of x, we we'll write it as equal to, this is going to be equal to minus 5x, plus 30 okay minus 5x plus 13 right and then we have summation of forces in the y direction equal to zero going up in our reference we have a minus 5 minus v2 equal to 0 and therefore v2 which is a function of x will just be equal to a minus 5. Shear is just going to be constant throughout. Okay. So we have all the equations that we need. Let's start drawing. Okay, there we go. There we go. 
uh, this this is going to be our shear force diagram and this is our bending moment diagram let me create a boundary here so that we have some space that we can use for working okay and also like so this will be our space in between for working and then we have positive up negative positive up negative so let's start drawing and then we have this part that separates the two intervals okay so for interval one from zero to three and three to six if you've seen v1 of x is constant in both intervals which is negative therefore for this one we can draw it directly it's just a minus five okay it's a minus five throughout great and it's a minus it's a negative uh negative shear okay it's five throughout and then for moment let's look at interval one interval one which is from zero to three from zero to three so what we have we've been told that mx m1 of x is equal to uh, what did we find minus 5x which is just a linear function therefore m1 at x equal to 0 we expect moment to be 0 and m1 when x is equal to 3 we expect moment to be equal to minus 15 so let's do a plot of that so it's going to be, be something like this okay linear function 0 to 15 just something like that let's say that is our 15 there this is our 15 kilonewton meters then interval 2 interval 2 interval 2 m2 of x we say it is equal to minus 5x plus 30 okay so m2 when x is equal to 3 what do we find what do we have when uh, when uh, m2 when x is equal to 3 we have minus 15 plus 30 this gives us positive 15 so this is how this is what happens when you have a concentrated moment okay there is always this uh the discontinuity of uh the mo bending moment diagrams all right so we are going to see a jump from negative we'll see a jump from negative going up like this to positive this is what happens right and this value is this value there is a 15 kilo newton meters positive and therefore when m2 uh, when x is equal to 6 we expect uh, 6 times minus 5 is minus 30 plus 30 which is equal to 0 okay so expect a closure later on all right something like that so what do you have you have a negative you have a negative then you have a positive like so all right so basically this is about it basically this is about it and i hope the video was helpful let me just clean up this part i hope the video was helpful let's clean up this part just one minute okay let's remove this line also all right like so so we found the functions for interval one we have the function for moment 
which is this one which i'm calling one and also shear there okay and then in table two i have the function which is this one here okay and then v2 we have the function there which is in table two for shear it is just the same all right i think this is about it and i hope the video was helpful and if it was give me a thumbs up like my video continue subscribing and sharing my channel bye bye and see you in my next uh, screencast